Farazan? No way. Where, 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 where? You're fucking... I will ban everyone if you're lying. Where, where, where? Yes! 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 That's so good. That's so... Dude, Shao Nation. That's so good. Yes! Wait, that's so good. This isn't Shao banner? Dude, yeah, but who cares? If you're a Shao main with a fucking brain, you want Farazan, you want Shan Yu, and so you're pulling here anyways. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why Noelle's there. But they just needed Noel to be somewhere. They didn't want the banner to be too good. If Noel wasn't there, this would be like the best banner of all time for Shao. I mean, unironically, Noel's good with Freena, but like, Shao's right there in the bottom right. <laughs> Yo. Dude, why is she built like that? Holy fuck. Anyways, should we do a banner review? Okay, let me turn my actual cam on. Oh my god, that's a lot of sack weapons. What the fuck? And the racist spear, which is actually good for Shao. Sorry, xenophobic spear. Ooh. I don't, wait, this is actually not bad. I mean, uh, the catalysts are kind of like the five star catalysts. I'm kind of question mark about because each of them are very niche. Like you don't really want to use Nahida's catalyst on that many characters. Same with cloud retainers. Um, but the sack weapons are really, I mean, pretty nice. Honestly, the lamp on sucrose. I mean, true. Okay, let's talk about this chat. I'm going to be honest. We've made history today. This is the first time. Getting a Farzan as a Shao main isn't fucking tied to Skara. Sorry, Skara. No disrespect, but for the first fucking time, Shao can actually get Farzan without getting a C26 Skara. Thank fucking God. Thank God. Farzan is with Cloud Retainer, which is amazing because Cloud Retainer, plunge buffs. From what we know, her weapon buffs plunging. Very clearly a plunge support. Farzan, the best support for Shao, especially at C6, which means this banner is very nice. Gaming is also a new character, which means you probably want him. And Noel is pretty. So I am very happy about this banner. Extremely happy. Would I rather Farzan be with Shao or Shan Yun? I don't know. Ideally both, but it is what it is. If you are a Shao main, pull here. Second time is just given as an event reward. That doesn't count. It's not a banner. Ratio. Because the thing with Farzan is you don't just need one. You don't just need two. You don't even need three. You need fucking seven. You need seven. The Jungkook of Genshin. You need seven. See, dude. Oh, ho, ho. I can't wait till you motherfuckers. Dude, even with Cloud Retainer, you still want her C6 because it's like battery in your Cloud Retainer. So if you don't have Farzan C6, not only will your Shao suffer, your Cloud Retainer will suffer too. So yeah, this better overall, very nice if you're a Shao main because Shen Yun and Farzan. For other characters, Shen Yun nice. Gaming looks really good. Probably gonna get better with constellations, but we don't know yet. He's not out. Uh, so, you know, stay tuned. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. The other character is just Nahida, who's broken. So, yeah. Farzan, if you're not a Shao player or a Skara player, you kind of don't want to see her there. But um, yeah, pull Shao. So I'm happy about that. Weapon Manor. Um, yeah, very sacky. Very sack. Base, uh, literally every sack weapon, because there's no sack spear. Sack bow. It's okay. Nice on Diona. It's okay. Sack Sword, also pretty nice, especially with the refinements. Can use it on a few characters. Chi Chi, Sing Cho, a lot of characters. It's okay. Not amazing. It's okay. Sack Catalyst, Sack Frags, very good. Sack Frags is actually really cracked. You can use it on like Sucrose, Nahida, very, very good. Anyone that needs EM, I like it a lot. I use it on Kokomi as well in Bloom Teams. I like it. And then Sack Great Sword, I think, is limited because a lot of Claymore characters, Claymore supports kind of suck. Not all of them. Beto's great, but she doesn't really use Sack. But a lot of like, like you don't want to play like, like, like you could use them like Dory Sayu, but like who's playing Dory Sayu? Maybe you are, I, I'm, if you are, cool. But it's, it's actually not bad on Navia. It, it, to be fair, it's not bad on Navia and like Cave. So it's not even, it's not a bad weapon. Sack Great is actually not a bad weapon. It's just, there's not that many supports that like, it's not bad. And then Lithic Spear. Um, the Xenophobic Spear. So typically it's a pretty decent stat stick and Shao can actually use it. But the problem with Shao teams is there was never an Anemo support. There's no Anemo character other than Shao who hails from Liyue. Because of this, it has been, it's been difficult to stack it on Shao. However, with Cloud Retainer, Shan Yun, the weapon's actually better for him and it's actually a pretty good pull arm. So yeah, uh, pretty good. For the five stars, uh, you either want them or you don't want them. It is what it is. Nahida's weapon is Nahida's weapon. It's a RNR upside down. Not the most flexible weapon, but if you need EM on like a character, you can use it. Typically, it's for Nahida though. Um, it's okay. A lot of stats. And then, like, it's good, but it's just not like... I would mostly just pull it for Nahida. And then the other one, Cloud Retainer's fan. Very pretty. Also, very good. Very good. Just actually very good. 
Um, you don't need it, but I think you will like it if you are planning to use Cloud Retainer a lot in a team with a plunge DPS. Example, Shao. Uh, and while you can go Thrilling Tails, stuff like that, this weapon has an insane base attack. This is like the same stat line as Shenha's weapon, so I'm going to assume she's like Shenha. The stats give you 28% increased damage to your plunges. Very good for any plunge attacker. Lament. And crucially, when you plunge, you restore 2.5 energy up to once every 0.7 seconds. This is a fuck ton of energy, okay? A lot. So if your character needs, if Shen Yun needs a lot of energy, this is going to help a lot. On top of plunging, on top of base stack, this looks really, uh, honestly, really good. The, the problem is there's probably really good alternatives. Thrilling Tales, fucking... Do I want to do a weapon ranking now? She's not out. Not really. But if you need energy, fucking you can go Fav. You can go fucking Oath Sworn Eye that gives attack and energy. You can go fucking Amber, even though the HP sucks and I hate that weapon. You can go like a lot of weapons, right? Stat sticks, five stars. There's a lot you can go, but this weapon does look really good. How do you know she skills on attack? Read the fucking weapon, bozo. Read the fucking weapon, bozo. This is literally a Shenho weapon. They wouldn't release a weapon like this if she scaled on fucking HP. Yeah. Also, Thrilling Tales gives attack. Like Vermilion, this gives damage percent. Like Marie Chaussée. So you get this, you Vermilion. True lol W. And I'm gonna be honest, chat. I'm gonna be honest. I love Shen Yun and I'm very excited for her. But the fact that now Shao mains can get a C6 Farzan by pulling, hopefully, if you're lucky, is amazing. Because as we all know, playing Farzan at C0 is like trying to play the fiddle. But you don't know any good fiddles. You don't know. You. It's like, okay, it's like. Playing Farzan at C0 is like a guitar that isn't tuned. And like, yeah, but you don't know how to tune it and you don't have a tuner. So you're like, you're trying to like go by ear, but you're, you're kind of not that experienced. So you're trying to tune it like, it's not really tuning properly. It's still going to play music. It's still better than no instrument. If you're bored, you want a melody, but it's not playing the exact melody you want. No, I wish that note sounded different. I wish I had energy. I wish I, I did something. That's C0 Farzan. It's doing something. But C6, perfectly tuned. Anyways, cool banner. Very happy because of Farzan. But if you're not a Shao main, uh, rip Bozo. But I mean, Gumming's there, so that's cool. Um, Because both of the new characters are on the first half and Nahida is, I actually am like overloaded in content. I recorded a full Nahida guide tomorrow. Hopefully I can start on Chen Yun and then I have to do Gumming after he's out. So expect all those videos and then probably Diluc. Uh, so yeah, a lot of content coming. Who's a good plunge attacker other than Shao? Probably Gumming, Diluc, Hu Tao. Maybe. Realistically, though, if she can enable you to plunge the characters that you would use, either infuse your normal attacks or are catalysts. Realistically. I don't know. Like, I haven't seen Calx or anything. Like, we'll have to see. But realistically, it'll be like Diluc, maybe Hu Tao, maybe Raiden. I don't know if Raiden infuses her plunges. I actually don't know. Then, like, Yai, Risley. Probably not in the heat. I don't think you play her in a Dendro team. Child doesn't. Child can't even. I'm pretty sure Child can't plunge. Isn't that a thing? Can't child literally not plunge? I'm pretty sure I've like I've main child for a little bit. I'm pretty sure he literally can't. Yeah, he fucking can't. <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Anyways, Ababa.